All right, ladies and gentlemen, today is June 27th. It is 5.30 p.m. I call this special meeting of the Yuma Elementary School District Number 1 Governing Board to order. Would you all please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance and a moment of silence. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Please be seated. We will begin with agenda item number two reports donation recognition. Mr. Ponder. Madam President, members of the board, um, two donations to report. Dorothy Hall Elementary School received from donors choose um, donations in the form of laminating pouches, envelopes, painting trays, laminating rolls, and other um, supplies for Mr. Bailey's fifth grade classroom with an estimated value of $264. And then the second one is um, a donation from Deb Guerrero in the form of 300 books to be used in our libraries district-wide. Uh, the donation has an estimated value of $7,500, so very nice. So this month's total is $7,764, which brings our year-to-date total to $310,449.63. That's amazing. Thank you again to our Yuma community for the amazing donations. Moving on to item three, consent agenda. Can I have a motion to approve the consent agenda as presented? I'd like to make a motion to approve the consent agenda as uh, presented. Can I get a second? Second. Okay, seconded by Ms. Hennig. Mrs. Hennig. Uh, is there any discussion about the consent agenda? There being none, let's vote. All those in favor say aye. 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 Nay? Anybody, uh, all those opposed say nay? Motion carries unanimously. Thank you. Moving on to action items. Action item 4.1, consideration to adopt our 23-24 proposed budget, Mr. Ponder. Madam President, members of the board, districts are statutorily required to annually prepare a proposed budget no later than July 5th or the publication date of the notice of public hearing and board meeting if earlier and furnish it to the superintendent of public instruction and to the county school superintendent. ARS 15-905E reads, the district must also publish or mail a copy of the proposed budget or summary and a notice of the public hearing and board meeting no later than 10 days prior to the meeting to adopt the budget. The governor board shall adopt the budget, which shall not exceed the general budget limit or the unrestricted capital budget limit making such deduction as it sees fit, but making no additions to the proposed budget total for maintenance and operations or district additional assistance and shall enter the budget as adopted in its minutes. We received no feedback um, on the budget as it was presented previously, so it's recommended that the governing board adopt the fiscal year 2023-2024 proposed budget. Um, nothing changed from the proposal that was uh, provided 14 days ago. Thank you. I move that the governing board adopt the fiscal year 2023-2024 proposed budget as presented 14 days ago. I'd like to second. Moved by Mrs. Kohlstrike, seconded by Mr. Geyer. Is there any discussion? I have something. Um, I want to thank Mr. Ponder again, uh, the awesome job that you do, you and your team. So thank you for all of this uh, effort that you put into this. Fantastic budget. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you. Any more discussion? Okay. All those in favor say aye. 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 Adele, did you say aye? I did say aye. Got it. Um, opposed? Motion carries. Thank you very much. Now on to action item 4.2, consideration to approve Gila Vista Assistant Principal, Dr. Elka. Madam President, members of the Governing Board, it is my pleasure to present um, uh, the, um, the recommendation for the assistant principal position at Hula Vista Junior High School. The process for selection was, as always, um, very involved. Um, we uh, started with an announcement that the district was seeking an outstanding leader for the vacant position. The applicants 
has complete an electronic application and introductory videos, between cover letter and resume, three letters of recommendation, and three reference surveys. Top applicants were then asked to participate in the interview process, which included um, asking of a set of formal questions, hearing the presentation, and reviewing a writing prompt. The final interview committee, um, you have their names, it consisted of staff members from Gila Vista Junior High School, the principal, as well as various um, district personnel as well. After careful deliberation and discussion of each candidate's qualities and fit for the position, the interview committee has recommended Crystal Team. Therefore, it is the administrative recommendation that Crystal Team be approved by the governing board as the assistant principal for Gila Vista Junior High School for the 23-24 school year. I'd like to entertain a motion to that end. I move that we approve Crystal Team as the assistant principal for Gila Vista High School for the upcoming school year. I need a second. I second. Uh, moved by Mrs. Kolstrike, seconded by Mr. Geyer to approve Crystal Team at Gila Vista Junior High. Is there any discussion? Okay, there being none, all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Opposed? Motion carries unanimously. Congratulations, Crystal. Thank you. We usually have um, the applicants to speak to the board, but we are going to delay that until August, so we have a full um, a full board meeting. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Did you have a speech ready to go? <laughs> Crystal, would you come up and shake our hands anyway? You're official. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you. Congratulations. 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 Yay. We want to make you feel official. With that, if there is no other uh, agenda item to be presented for the future, this meeting is adjourned.